What's up guys, Austin Dunham back again with another video. And today, as you can see, I'm here at the pull-up bars once again. And because in this video, I'm gonna teach you the real method to doing 20 pull-ups plus in a single set or in a row. So uh, even the most fit people can't even do 20 pull-ups in a row. Usually they're maxing out at seven reps or 10 reps with the pull-up bar. And you know, honestly, I think that uh, more people should start working on their endurance in regards to the pull-up because that would definitely help you out with not only muscle building, but you know, learning different exercises. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you the exact way that I did in order to get 20 plus reps on a pull-up in a single set. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so when it comes to doing 20 plus pull-ups in a single set, a lot of people think that you need to work your endurance, AKA doing high reps of the pull-up. So that is halfway true, but in my opinion, the best way in order to get that endurance and that strength to do 20 plus pull-ups is to actually work harder exercises than what you're used to doing. Now, this means that all we're doing is just taking either a pull-up variation or adding weight to our pull-ups to make it more intense. So yes, we're working high intensity with our pull-ups. So the variation is all up to you. There's plenty of them out there. So, but if you're a person wanting to learn 20 reps of the pull-ups, then I suggest um, starting out with the closed grip pull-up. So the closed grip pull-up looks just like this. It's simply just using a closed grip and you do a pull-up from there. Now, along with the closed grip, I also recommend, as you probably guessed, the wide grip pull-up. So, wide grip, go as far as the bar allows you to go. Put your hands right here, then pull up, go back down, pull up, go back down. So, you also wanna make sure that you're maintaining the correct form of the pull-up throughout the whole entire exercise. Because if you start practicing with bad form, that's gonna to lead to you sticking with that bad form, and then you're not gonna be able to progress the way that you want to. So, I did actually make a video on the correct pull-up form, so go ahead and watch that if you haven't. So, like I said, we wanna keep the intensity really high. So if those um, variations are too easy for you, that's when it's up to you to figure out some different variations of the pull-up that uh, makes it difficult for you. So you will know that the pull-up variation is difficult if you can do no more than eight to 10 repetitions, I would say. But personally, I will find a variation that uh, allows you to do no more than six repetitions in a given set. So that means that when you're doing the pull-up exercise, that you're actually failing around six or five reps. All right, so you don't have to stick to just different variations. Like I said, you can actually add weight to yourself either by using a weight belt or a backpack. So that is my first recommended way to actually doing 20 plus pull-ups in a single set. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention is that after you do that high intensity set, what I want you to do is uh, complete a normal set of pull-ups just right afterwards. All right, so this is called a superset or a drop set, whichever one you wanna call it. So you're gonna do that high intensity exercise, and then right after, you're gonna do just a normal set of pull-ups. And don't just do them all super fast, you know, all crazy. Actually do it slow and controlled. Chin over the bar, chin down. Chin over the bar, chin down. So it should be really, really difficult for you after you've done your high intensity set. But trust me, you will over time for your last start working and you will be able to gain more strength to actually be doing those high reps of pull-ups. A way that you can test if this is actually working is just simply once every two weeks before you actually start your workout, just test your max number of reps on the pull-up bar. And then over time, especially within a month or two, you should see it slowly start to increase. So if you're starting out with only doing 10, should raise to 15, should raise to 16. Once you get in between that 15 to 20 gap, it's gonna be really slow, but you just gotta stick with it, stick to the program that I just taught you, and eventually, I promise you, you will be doing over 20 reps on the pull-up bar. So, that is my tutorial today. If you learned something new, please give a thumbs up, and also, of course, be sure to subscribe for future calisthenics tutorials, videos, just like this one. So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.